last 10 days people have come down and mucked in and now I've got the workshop to where it needs to be. I bought my first Honda about six or seven years ago uh, with the intent of reselling it. Well, after spending a couple of days working on it, the little car burst into life, so I started driving it and I decided to keep it. It was incredibly smooth drive. It was very comfortable and handled superbly. I started the Honda Heritage Community Group very soon after I bought my first Civic. I decided to invite people to form a stand at an event at Crystal Palace. I met Alan through our website, Honda Karma. He logged on and he showcased his work, his old Civics. I've got an old car myself. I've got a Honda Accord Mark I, and we help out each other with part swaps. Alan's very crucial in our community because he is able to restore and fabricate new items from the ground up. As my interest in Hondas has increased over the years, it's led me now to sourcing parts all over the world and helping other people out getting hard to find parts. I met Alan through um, a Honda dealership, so he helped me with a gearbox. I've been down all this week helping him get his car ready because he's helped me out a lot with my car. Parts for this car are near, near enough impossible to get a hold of, unless you know Alan. <laughs> At present, I have a collection of four Honda Civics. One S800, numerous generators. It's got a little out of hand, but I'm still going to push on with the hope of building up a small museum of all the early Honda products. I drive a 1979 Honda Civic. I've got a 1976 Honda Civic. Honda's engineering is, is brilliant. For a car of this age to perform the way it does, it's really quite something. Every event that's put on by Honda Heritage I will attend. It's a great crowd, it's a great atmosphere. We get a great turnout of public that show a lot of interest and reminisce about the cars that they've had that have been Hondas over the years.